I am so honored, humbled, and grateful to be able to introduce to some and present to others this woman of God, Tanisha Durrett Simpson. She said that she would help Healthy Heart brag on God this fifth season of Faith and Favor. And I praise God that she's sharing some of her faith walk. And this woman of God is also the pastor of Sherman Chapel AME Zion Church. All right, enjoy. Greetings, greetings, greetings from Healthy Heart. And we are so favored to have this pastor lady, Pastor Tanisha Durrett Simpson. Yes. And she'll share the church that she has the opportunity to labor at. To God be the glory. But this is the fifth season of Healthy Heart. And the theme is faith and favor in the fifth. To God be the glory. So I asked this woman of God if she would come and share anything. Because see, we bring it on the Lord. Share her name or anything about herself and anything about her faith walk. But we plead the blood. We've already prayed, but we're yeah. praying now in the name of Jesus that somebody hears this and will be encouraged because God's given us this opportunity to press in to all he's called us to do. So in the name of Jesus, yes, ma'am, yes, your name and whatever you want to share. Yes, ma'am. Thank you once again. Thank you for always calling on me. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, like she shared earlier, my name is Reverend Tanisha Direct Simpson. I am the pastor of Sherman Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church located in Lebanon, Kentucky. Um, and it's just so ironic how Miss Charlene, or we call her Miss Cha Cha, <laughs> <laughs> always uh, reach out to you. Um, talk about me personally. When it seemed like you having some good some ups or some, some lows. And so I was just sharing with her before we rec uh, got on um, recording this morning that um, the last couple of weeks I've been feeling like Jonah under the juniper tree. My soul has been grieving. Uh, even though I'm a pastor, I'm a Christian, um, I believe in the Lord. Sometimes we have moments to where we grieve. Um, and I, I learned today that I'm grieving because of a loss of uh, a loved one. Their birthday will be tomorrow. And so we just have to recognize, you know, it's okay to grieve. Um, don't grieve to where you don't have no hope. Mm. But grieve, um, it, you're, we're human. We're in the flesh. And so my faith walk um, has been... Just trusting in the Lord and then um, just to kind of go into uh, some things and I'm not going to be before you long but um, my faith walk sometimes seems like it gets attacked and so right now we're sharing with Miss Charlene that we're studying the book of Revelation and we've been talking about the seven churches um, and their faith and their trust and condemnation and promises that God has uh, requested of them or share with them that they if they do right then mm -hmm. you will uh, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life so my title for the seven churches was what kind of church are you yeah. what kind of church are you um, we we are the church individually mm -hmm. The building is not the church, it's us. And so it talks about being faithful, the loveless church, the persecuted church, the compromising church, the lukewarm church. Mm -hmm. And um, John saw a vision from the Lord. And so he was sharing with them what these churches were going through. So I said, well, you know, it's always good. And whenever you see my video, I'm always talking about self-examination. We need to examine ourselves um, so that our faith walk can grow, so that others can see how we are progressing on this Christian walk or this Christian journey. And so, I've just I could just feel the enemy uh, attacking me because I'm uh, preaching to them, also preaching to me, and it's a reflection. What kind of church am I? 
And then to to piggyback on this past Sunday, um, we moved from what kind of church are you to will you worship around the throne? And worshiping around the throne, will you worship during the good times and the bad times or when your faith uh, walk is kind of low? You don't, you know, you wonder if God has left you. And so I just wanted to stop by just to share um it's okay to grieve. Please grieve. But don't grieve to where you don't have any hope. And worship him. Praise him, worship him in the midst of the storm. Easy said than done, but if you just call on Jesus and you just say, Help me, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. It says seven times so that it can get into your spirit so that you can um continue to move on through this life journey. So my faith, uh, as the song says, I never lost my hope. (laughs) Um, They say faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We can't see it. So we're putting our faith in action, knowing and trusting that God will see us through. So um, just, you know, just keep looking toward the Lord. Keep striving for him. Um, but it's just so amazing how today I hope that this message um, will help you to just keep striving I mean I don't really have many scriptures to give you but just just to encourage you you know um, to just put your trust in him there is a scripture that talks about